Hello, this is Tom from Seaside Aquatics. Today I'm going to show you how to install a koi feeder solo system and how to connect them and how to program it together. Uh, first of all, when you receive the unit, you will, it will come with a battery and it will come with a charger. And um, what you do is first you need to install the battery by removing this cover on the sides. So to remove the cover, all you have to do is remove, use a uh, screwdriver to remove four screws. And when you get it out, you will see that there are two blue cables. One is going to be uh, black colors and one is going to be red color. So this is very simple and very easy. What you do, need to do is press the black into the black and the red into the red. Once you have that connected, make sure that the cable is not loose. Uh, you can use a, a, a uh, plier um, to t um, clamp it down. But just like I said, just, uh, usually it's really tight. And once you have that down, what you do is inside here, there's already a slot for it. So what you do is just push the battery into the slot that po already provided to you. Okay, and once that there, I had to do is just go ahead and put the cover back. And when the cover is back in place, and what you do is use this charger that provided to you, plug it in, and charge the battery for at least eight hours for it to be fully charged. And when it's fully charged for eight hours, you can go ahead and use the unit. And what what happens is that when the unit, when you open the unit, you will see. This area right here is where you're gonna pour in your uh, food. And this right here is the line that the food should be up to, uh, the maximum of the food to be uh, into here. So let me go back a little bit. So this system has two uh, functions. One is that it will use a large pedal of the solar right here to recharge the battery or it can charge a battery by using the, the adapter here. So let's say if you have a, um, um, an, an outdoor, um, you don't really need the, the, the charger, what happens is that this solar panel right here will go and recharge the battery at, 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 at it goes. However, if you have a, um, like a greenhouse um, where there's not enough sun or indoor, then what you need to do is you need to plug this charger in and it will charge the battery as you're using it. Um, so anyway, once everything is in place, charge, what you do is right here, you have the time button, plus, negative, uh, plus, minus, on and off, auto, and menu button. So what you do, you do is go ahead and press the on button. So when you press the on button, on this menu right here, let me see if you can get it clearly. On this menu right here, you will see that this right here is your time. And right here that the unit is off and right here is telling you the battery is 12.9 i believe it, when it's fully charged it should be around 13 or 14.0 uh, so to, to change the time is really easy so what you do is you go ahead and press the time button down for a few seconds and you see the time itself is flashing so all you gotta do is go ahead and use the um the plus uh, uh, the plus and negative button to change the time. So right now, I believe California time is around seven. And once you got that done, press the time button again, right now, and then it won't go ahead and go next to the minute. So let's say right now is 7.20 or so. So I keep pressing the up button. Up, oh, I go over, then go ahead and press the negative button to go down. And once you got that done, go ahead and press time again. And now it go down to second. If you really want to be um, um, really on to the second, you go ahead and change that. I'm just go ahead and press time again. And right now it's telling me that my timer is set up at 720. And the unit itself currently is off. So what I'm going to do is when, um, if I want to do the, the timer, this unit can do 10 times a day and it's based on the second. So you can feed from one second up to 
basically, basically up to uh, 24 hours if you wanted to. But I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend maybe try um, five second, ten second feeding first to see um, to see how much food is the, the, the dispensed. In the next video, I, I, I will um, show you how much it would dispense in uh, five second, uh, ten second, and fifteen seconds. So you pretty much can can uh, can see how much is the food that you need to uh, program. So to to program the unit, all you have to do is go ahead and press time. And right now you see on the screen is one on this end right here. It's telling you that it's timer one. And right now, what time do you want to set up the unit? So I say, you know, let uh, I want to start the unit at uh, seven. Uh, okay, and I want it to be seven twenty-five. Or yep, yeah, seven. Let's say I want to on the center will on at, at seven seventeen is for example. And with the second I want it to be you know at zero. And then you press time again, it will tell it, it will ask you the second time below the first one, it's asking you what time you want it to turn off. So I just want this unit to be on for about maybe uh, 10 seconds or so. So I would want this unit to be turned off at 7, 17, and let's say 5 seconds. Okay, then I press time again. So right now it's telling me that the first timer is gonna, it's already set up at 7 um 7 16 and it will turn up at 7 16 and 10 second or 5 second uh, when our program let's let, let, let go back so right now it's a two right now see right now the, the timer one is set up at 7 17 and it's set up at 7 17 or 5. so once you have that program you can press you can press the auto button for it to go into uh quicker you can skip it so right now we don't have anything set for two three and four and five but in order for you to set though, it's very easy. As you can see, I did it with the first one. So um, you go ahead and, and uh, leave it alone, and the, the unit will go back to the uh, uh, original um, time. So right now you see it's 7.23. So, and right here, if you want the unit to be turned on an auto, all you gotta do is hit the auto button, and it will tell you that this, this unit is on auto, meaning that at seven, 17 the unit will turn on so right now it's on auto so it will all um, um automatic to, uh feed the uh feed the coil feed the pond according to your programming um and let's say you walk by the pond and say you know what i want to feed my my koi today um you know and they look hungry you hit this menu button right here it will manually feed for about five seconds so let me try that as you see, the unit is turned on. The, the thing is bent down here to dispense the, the food. And it is. Yeah, about five, five, six seconds. And right down here, the unit down here is where the food come out. So let me go ahead and show you. In the back of this unit right here. That's when the food dispense out, and this the, and you see that that disc on the bottom here. That is the, um, it will shoot out, and that's what how it's uh, dispensed. So pretty much really easy. Um, if you have any question, you can go onto our website or you can contact me uh, at seasideaquatics at yahoo.com. But the unit itself is very much really easy to to program, and right here you see, you also can. I think the unit has to be on in order for you to um, right here there is a setting that it can um, shoot out as much food uh, I mean I'm sorry the distance you can you, you can set up the distance of the unit and uh, um, it will dispense from I, I believe from one foot up to six foot it depends on how um, you install the, the, the solar how, how tall how high uh, where is it really close to the pond surface um, so it dictate um, the distance it will uh, it will uh, 
mm, shoot out. So like for example, let me try that. So let me press the, the, the menu button so that you get it running. And you can press 